Package managers are a convenient and easiest way to install packages and applications within a few minutes. Linux has popular package managers like apt, pacman, and dnf, while macOS has homebrew. However, Windows has been a lacking a good package manager until the introduction of Scoop. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Scoop, the missing package manager for Windows 11 and Windows 10. Scoop is a command line installer for Windows that allows you to easily install your favorite programs from a command line with minimal hassle. It takes care of all the dependencies and other steps to make the program work as intended. With Scoop, you no longer have to search for applications using a web browser. Instead, you can install the most popular Windows applications and packages directly from the command prompt or PowerShell. Now let's move on to installing Scoop. Head over to this website and copy the first line of code. Then open PowerShell and paste the code. Then press A for all. Next, copy and paste this line to start setting up Scoop. Now once it's done, type scoop dash dash version to confirm the installation. You should see the version of Scoop and information about buckets, which are Git repositories that hold packages. The main bucket holds basic packages like Git, NeoFetch, and more. You can type scoop dash dash help to learn more about using the command. Let's go ahead and install our first package, NeoFetch. Just like apt in Linux, you can use the command scoop install neofetch to pull the package from the main bucket and install it. Once it's done, if you type neofetch, you should see that the command has been successfully installed. It's important to note that Scoop downloads and manages packages in a portable way by keeping them isolated in the home directory. If you look inside the Scoop folder, you will see subfolders like applications, buckets, and shims. When you install a Scoop package, it stores all the binaries in the home directory. For terminal applications, Scoop creates shims or command line shortcuts that is accessible in the path. This means that when you install packages like Python or Android tools, the bin directory of the package is added to the system environment variable. To demonstrate this, let's install Python by running this command. Now once it's done, if you type Python, the command should execute as intended. If you look at the environment path, you will see that the location of the Python files has been added. Scoop automatically adds the file location to the system path, allowing you to access the package throughout the system. Now let's install some GUI applications like VS Code. Just go ahead, type scoop search VS Code to see if it's available in the main bucket. To install VS Code, we first need to add the extras bucket to scoop. Just go ahead, type scoop bucket, add extras and press enter. We will also add the versions bucket. Just go ahead and run this command. You can find more information about the list of buckets in the description down below. Once you have added the extras and version buckets, you can type scoop bucket list to see all of the buckets. These three buckets are the core repositories from which scoop pulls most of the popular Windows applications and other packages. Now install VS Code by typing scoop install VS Code. 
Now, as you can see, the installation was successful. You can use the same process to install other popular applications like Spotify, VLC, PyCharm, and more. You can also use the official Scoop website to search for any application or package and copy the install command to set it up. To search for a specific package like Eclipse, you can type it here. Now, as you can see, there are several options available. Let's say we want to find the Rust version of Eclipse. We can see that it's available in the extras bucket that we added earlier. Simply copy the install command and paste it into PowerShell or the command prompt to install it. To see a list of install packages, type scoop list. To update all packages, just type scoop update. And to uninstall a package, type scoop uninstall and the package name. Overall, I would say Scoop is a valuable tool for Windows users looking to easily install and manage packages and applications from the command line. With the main extras and versions buckets, you have access to a wide range of popular applications and packages. That concludes this tutorial on using Scoop, the missing package manager for Windows 11 and Windows 10. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to check the description down below. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you at the next one.